Hey everybody, I hope you can hear me. Uh, we've got a good microphone hooked up and I think it's working. Uh, it is, it's about 10 till 10, which means we've got about 10 minutes until we start mailbag. And I have already started the recording, so you could be watching this on the archive. I hope the kittens do something entertaining to keep us all amused for the next 10 minutes while I get some coffee, check the cameras, and do all the things I need to do to, to be ready to come in here and open some mail with all of you, which, uh, like I said, happens at 10 o'clock in about 10 minutes. And if you are watching on the archive and the kittens aren't doing anything, feel free to fast forward until then. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in 10-ish, 10 10-ish 10 minutes.
Hey everybody. I'm gonna sit right over here today with this one weird angle, but this will make sense in a minute, I think. Hang on. Hi Morgan, of course it's you, of course it's you. I have cat food on my leg, just like always. Oh man. Okay. Hi Morgie. Where are we at? Okay. Uh, let's play the jingle. I'm going to check the camera angles. Hang on. Uh, one thing at a time. Where are the controls? Here we go. Oh, we're back. Hey, hello. Okay, uh, so today I'm going to use the camera in the corner close up, I think, for mailbag. And I, that's, that's what I'm going to try anyway. Uh, oh, oh! Ah! Hello. Hey, hello. Okay, look, I got this. A little bit of technical issues. Uh, hey, you know, we've never done this before. So, um, okay. All right, I think what I'm going to aim for here is something like this, and then <clears throat> I can use all the cameras. Good, good. Uh, we're going to just, we're going to see if this works. All right, let's try it out. Let's try it out together, see what we got. Um, good morning. It's Saturday. It's October 10th, and uh, we're here in the Annex for Mailbag. Um, briefly. Uh, the news this week is that Smokey, Logan, and Custard all went to the vet for vaccines and checkups, and uh, it wasn't bad, although um, Custard is going to have to go back for dental work on the 28th, which is the same day that these kittens are going to go in for their very first checkup and vaccines, the 28th. So the 28th will be a big day. Uh, I don't know uh, what we'll do if all of these kittens and uh, Custard and Logan are, I mean, just Custard are at the vet, then we'll have to find something to keep people entertained for that time, um, but we'll find a way. Uh, then uh, for Smokey, <clears throat> I just heard back from the vet this morning. We're going to start Smokey on some metronidazole, uh, which is a, sort of a GI uh, antibiotic and also has some anti-inflammatory qualities that I think are going to do her some good. So, uh, the practical upshot of that is that I am going to have to go to the vet to pick up the metronidazole today, and I'd like to try to get there before noon, <clears throat> which means I'd like to try to get through this mailbag pretty quickly. If I can finish it by 11 or just a tiny bit after 11, that would be real good. Uh, and if I can't, and it looks like it's going to take a lot longer, then I just have to call the vet. She'll leave the meds out for me to pick up after she's gone, which is fine, too. She's very accommodating that way. But if I if it seems like I'm, I'm kind of doing it uh, a little quickly today, that'll be the reason, even though I'm wearing my Let's Get Ready to Ramble t-shirt, I'm still planning on uh, trying to get through this with uh, some uh, uh, um, haste. Yeah, we'll say haste. How about that? Okay. Um, all right. I think we are ready. Uh, I was, I made my coffee and I had for breakfast, I had a uh, uh, leftover shawarma and then I had a stroopwafel because it sounded really good. And then I realized afterwards that the stroopwafel is supposed to go on top of the coffee, which I didn't do. And that's my excuse now for having a second stroopwafel on top of my coffee. But then I realized I'm talking to you guys and I can't eat it. So now I'm just, I'm really in a quandary. I've got coffee and a stroopwafel right behind me and I don't know what to do about it. Anyway, here is the postcard from mom. I should take a look and check our camera angles and figure out if I'm doing this right. <clears throat> Here's the postcard from mom uh, this week. 
And if you want to see it better than that, you should look on the Twitter where I've taken a picture of it and shared it with everybody. Um, it is from, uh, it's an, uh, Eugene Hartung, U Eugene, I, I, whatever, Hartung uh, Art, uh, just like all of these that we have done. And uh, this one is a, a carnival scene or a, a fair or something like that where there is, uh, let's see, there's a group of talented stunt cats that are all balanced and they've got a trained dog that is holding up their balancing beams. It's very clever. And they're all little color points too, like QP. Then uh, in the front, we have um, apparently their barker is, uh, is standing there and he has a pet monkey that has been trained to collect the uh, donations or tips from the crowd in a hat. And this makes the first time that we've seen a monkey in one of these. And apparently in this world, monkeys are monkeys and dogs are dogs, but cats are people. And birds are sometimes birds, but some birds are sometimes not birds. Some birds are sometimes also people. So a little bit of inconsistency there. But uh, I, like, I like now that we've seen monkeys, we've got a, a new... Uh, data point for the world of Hartung. Uh, there's also a carousel in the background and uh, the shooting gallery. And there's a lot going on. I think my favorite thing is subtle in the background. There's a there's a little tiny banner in the corner back here that has two cat heads on it, you know, one in green and one in black on opposite colored backgrounds, like a party color thing. It's a really cool logo. Um, I like that a lot. So the card says, Dear Chris, DJ, and KA friends everywhere. So nice to see DJ again, even though she's as hard to catch on camera as a unicorn in the woods. Your quick camera work, Chris, managed to capture a few glimpses. I just love the July 2020 video clips and seeing the little hipsters again. So heartwarming to see how Bebop took great pains not to knock little Bessie over when she was taking her first tentative steps. I'm so glad they will share the rest of their lives together. And this week at the Academy has had so many precious moments with the first steps and first food and first little teeth. Love you all. Mom. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. It's is, it is really sweet to see uh, the, the, the video bits that, you know, they obviously come out a couple of months late and it's very nostalgic for me to put them together. I still have to do the uh, one for, uh, what are we up to now? Um, September, I guess I have to do September. I hope that's the next one. And I also still have to edit uh, the Bessie with the Field of Butterflies video. So I'm a little bit behind on those, but I did a photo shoot yesterday <clears throat> with these kids. And then I went back and I published some of the photos that, that have been pending editing, including the ones from the shoot yesterday. And some of them came out very well and very fun. Some of them I didn't even expect, like Morgan wearing her hat. In actual reality, if you watch me trying to film it, that hat was never on her head. Uh, for more than an instant. Uh, I put it on, it would immediately come off. And somehow I, I didn't think I got any good pictures of it, but I did get one that was just barely good enough to look adorable and it really worked out. So I got very, very lucky on that. Uh, similarly for the other costumes that were part of that shoot, except for, um, except for uh, um, uh, Shire here wearing the, the saddle, he was very easy about that. All the others, they only had those things on for an instant, uh, just long enough barely to get the photo. So uh, it, was, it was good times, so. though. Anyway, all right, moving right along. Look at this. This kitty looks like a um, looks like, uh, little um, uh, Klaxi bean. Is it Klax the one I'm thinking of? Uh, wearing a hat. And you sent also a very generous uh, donation. Thank you very much. So uh, here's the picture I'm talking about. Um, and with a little tiny paper cowboy hat on top. It's very cute. I need to check the, uh, the camera one more time. Oh, oh, we've got a, okay, an interloper. Hi, Clyde. Okay, you guys get the idea. And inside it says, hi to you, faculty, mom, and kittens. Um, As I've said before, I so enjoy watching you and those precious babies. I want them all. Keep up the wonderful work you do. Give them all a kiss and a big snuggle for me. Know you'll make good use of the enclosed. Best, best wishes to all, Kay. Kay, thank you so much. Uh, what a cute little picture of this kitten wearing the little paper hat. And uh, I, you did include, as you say, a, a donation to us, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so 
very much, Kay. I noticed that you've got the uh, same cat kitten on the stamp uh, that you've done, so that's, uh, that's super cute. Thank you. Here we have one with a turn address says, Linda, Lola's mom, open in mailbag. All right, well, here we are. We got it. Oh, it looks like a Halloween card. It is a cat that is all decorated up like the Day of the Dead. There we go. Uh, or maybe that's the, uh, the skeleton suit from the Karate Kid, except uh, cat style. Whoops. Okay, all right, I'm dropping the card. Let's try this again. It says, hissing you a happy Halloween. That's very cute. And then it says, thank you for all you do to provide the best of everything for these beautiful cat families. Uh, oh, dear Mr. A, DJ, and faculty, we have been watching KA since shortly after Bebop arrived, and we haven't missed a day since. Seeing the gifts graduate with uh, Gabby and then Bebop and the Weebops has been my refuge during these new and often stressful times. Like DJ, I work in healthcare, and KA has been my daily stress relief. We just wanted to express our admiration for what an awesome job you are doing raising these cats and kittens to loving, playful, people-loving pets, and you do it with patience, kindness, and uh, humor. Now we get to watch Miss Tilbury and her little stable of horses, and how adorable are they? Uh, this is from Linda, who is Lola's mom, and Sargent, S-E-A-G something N-T, Seagent, C Sargent, uh, S-E-A-G something N-T, I think, on Discord. I'm sorry, I can't quite make it out. <gasps> oh my gosh, this little tiny um, a brumble in the, in the basket over there. I hope that's still on the camera. Let me check that camera. Brumble in the basket. Brumble's got the just the I can't I can't even with her face. It is too cute all the time. I don't know what to do about it. Oh, good, it is on the it is on the camera. But I've been trying to get this uh, Morgan and the cow on the camera too. I guess it wouldn't be very visible anyway because it's so small there. Morgan's hanging out in the cow. Okay, good. Anyway, it looks like the cameras are working. Okay, we've got one more. This one, the return address says this is from Bebop. So that's exciting. And meow to you too, Quartzy. Let's see what we've got from Bebop. Aw, it's a beautiful fall pattern, and it says, you are a wonderful reminder of how much good there is in the world. That's really sweet. Uh, I need to... There we go. I need to I need to actually look at this camera because I don't have a real good, you know, normally I've got kind of an idea where the camera's looking. This one, I don't have a real solid idea. Anyway, this says, perfect. It says, uh, good morning, Mr. A. Bebop here in my new house with my new family in Maine. Lil Bessie and I have wanted to thank you and Dr. DJ for all the love and comfort you showed us during my maternity leave. I look fondly on all of my days at KA especially the time you and I got to know each other before the seven blessings arrived. Like you and your mom, I am excited that with the interwebs and the postage stamps, I can stay in touch with you, my kitties, as well as the faculty, hi Ari, wink, and Discord friends. The coastal air seems to agree with Bessie and I. She is thriving, and I am even back on my exercise routine in between all the hugs and kisses I keep getting. Please also thank everyone for their well wishes, prayers, and love. By the way, we are still unpacking. I had no idea how much luggage we acquired in Connecticut. Thank you so much. Loving regards, Bibu. That is the sweetest, sweetest card. Thank you so much for sending that, Bebop. Oh, my goodness. That's completely made my morning. That and the knowledge that there is a Stroopwafel right there waiting for me. Both very good things this morning. Uh, okay, now we've just got boxes, and I'm going to try to keep this moving along a little bit. So let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm just going to go, uh, well, actually, I'm just going to go kind of down the pile and see what we got. So uh, no clues about anything on this one. Oh, it looks like a Christmas toy at a glance. It says... A gift from Travis. Uh, hi, Christmas comes early for the kittens from Travis. Travis, thank you so much. Christmas does come early for the kittens. Here we have Merry Christmas Cat Toys. 
and they're in a stocking and you can see uh, there's they're crammed in here there's feathers there's a little ball of balls we got a crinkle ball we got this little plastic ball here we've got uh, what appears to be a stocking in a stocking as well and uh, a green colored ball that's perfect very Christmassy colors this is beautiful and I'm sure DJ would be in favor of putting it out right meow but I'm convincing her to try 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 to wait until after Halloween to put out the Christmas decorations also I see Tilly waiting at the door let me let me take a real quick break and let her in Tilly there you go I'm glad you could join us yes well meow you are you're right there are some treats over here do you want one not the stroop waffle though that's mine no that one's mine Hang on. Here we go. Here, right here, right there. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, let's keep moving. Travis, thank you so much. You kids, don't knock over my coffee or my stroop waffle. Oh, my goodness. Let me put the lid on the coffee now. Oh, it was so good that way. Mmm. Much better. All right, wait, wait. Oh! Hang on. This is a good opportunity. I got my mouth full. And this card says not to read it to you guys, but I can read it to myself while I'm chomping on this group off. I'll give you one second. Hmm. So sweet. I don't know why it says not to read it on the stream, but I will honor that. Um, and there's some very cute stuff in here. So we have a flat mouse, which is a classic, uh, a wonderful classic toy. We have a couple of Halloween decorations, which I'm sure we've already got a collection of, and I'll be putting out soon, soon enough. And we have Frisky's Party Mix made with real cheese. All right, that's all normal-ish uh, stuff that you would expect. But then we have the one thing that you would never expect. Um, <laughs> this is, I didn't even know they made things like this. It appears to be a tiny little, well, it's a cat toy. It's for the cats. I don't know if it's made as a cat toy, but it has a pocket that would be perfect to put catnip in. Whatever it's made for, they sent it to, for the kittens to play with, and it is Soundwave. Yes, it's Soundwave. Uh, oh, there's a little note here. What does this say? Nope, it just says, the adult should remove and discard the fasteners and packaging components. All right, well, I think I'm adult enough to take care of that particular thing. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't say anything except that it's authentic Transformers. All right, well, as we know. I don't think he's going to transform, though, except he's going to transform into a cat toy. Good enough for me. That is really cool. I don't know why you decided to send Soundwave for these kittens, but I did not even know such a thing existed. So how fun is that? I'll answer my own question. It's very fun. Uh, I'll put it here until we find some catnip to fill up his pocket with, which would make him perfect. Okay, and I'm going to put that note over there. No, I'm not. I'm going to put that note right here. Here we go. Okay, next up... If this one, the return address says, okay to read on stream, someone, I, oh my gosh, I can't stand your face, Brumbles. Somebody was pointing out that there's that one picture of Brumble that I published the other day on Twitter, where Brumble looks exactly like uh, Salvador Dali. It came from one of those Scott Weinberg tweets uh, that he said it looked like a French comedian, and then a couple people said Salvador Dali, who so it looks like, who I don't think would count as a French comedian, although he was funny guy um, uh, but I think most people consider him to be an artist uh, and I do too anyway if you see that picture on the Twitter uh, the one that Scott Weinberg retweeted specifically and uh, it does it the resemblance is stunning uh, it really looks exactly like Sal or Dolly which I like a lot I, I like that fact I like that comparison I like everything about it uh, I love surrealist art, and Dolly was, uh, you know, he was great. He's, 
if you only are familiar with that, uh, the, the painting of the melting watches, then uh, you should check him out because he did a lot of really, really cool stuff, especially his photography work is spectacular. Uh, okay. Oh, look at this. This card says, here Kitty Kitty is very three-dimensional. It's got a kitten playing with some yarn. And it's got uh, little yarn balls and a little heart. It says, okay to read on stream. First time sending, but long time watch. All right. Well, let's see what it says inside. Here we have some pottery. Some, it uh, looks like sort of a, oh, I was going to say Native American. It says the Sia Indians of New Mexico make beautiful pottery. So I was close. I, I mean, I was right. Um, but it's uh, more than that. This is so cute. Oh, my gosh. The note says, thank you for all you're doing to help so many cats and kittens find their forever homes. This was an impulse by Please Enjoy from Karen and Judith. And I love that you've also decorated the inside of the card with little three-dimensional paper cutouts and a ribbon and all this stuff. That's a very cool card. Um, and Karen and Judith sent a little tiny kitten enamel pen. It's a kitten holding a heart. It looks a lot like that emoji, the, the cat heart uh, emoji that I love using so much. And uh, this is super cute. I, this will surely be added to DJ's collection of tiny pins. I, I, it's fantastic, though. I really like it. And then inside the box, there's more. This is so cool. <laughs> this is super cool. It's a Fiesta um, cactus that is, uh, it's got like a hat on, um, sort of a Southwestern style hat and mustache. Uh, there's definitely some uh, southwestern style for this cactus. In case the cactus alone didn't make it, then you know for sure what's going on. Um, that's completely awesome. And a Catzilla 16-month calendar. Catzilla, run for your lives. Oh, and it is. It's a whole bunch of cats photoshopped into situations where they are giants. That's also going to be super fun. Oh my gosh. Thank you so, so much for sending this stuff. It is really fun stuff. I just tried to show you that and uh, didn't even realize that uh, our mom cat has decided to put her head directly in front of the camera I was going to use for all the mailbag with you. So I'm going to have to show this over here instead. Canzilla calendar. There we go. Uh, and our um, uh, cactus with the mustache. I love the mustache. That's super cool. And I will set, uh, I'll set both of these around somewhere. I, I want to get some catnip on the cactus. Uh, I want to make sure this makes its way to DJ. And I want to make sure that gets in with the rest of our cards. I'm just going to put this right in my pocket where I'll forget about it until I go to wash laundry. Because that's how the world works for me. Perfect. Okay, set that aside for the minute. <sighs> Hi, yes, okay, the back of your head does make compelling viewing, though. I agree. Okay. Well, let's keep on moving here. We'll do the best we can. This is a uh, second. It says cat bed from Hell's Dells. And we got a cat bed from Hell's Dells last week that was similar, similarly wrapped. Easy for me to say. Oh, here. I'm trying, I'm trying to get it open with more tearing and less cutting because I don't want to cut the bed. I see jingle bell things. This looks like, a, oh, and there's a note. Look at that. Okay, there's a note. I can't tell if this is a Christmas tree or a cactus. What is this? All right, we're going to go with Christmas cactus. That's a classic right along with the Christmas coconut. So uh, it does look like a Christmas tree uh, and a cactus got together and had a cat bed. Uh, I don't know where to. I don't know where to put this now so that you can see it. How about right there next to this one? Yeah. So it kind of wants to be a Christmas tree and it kind of wants to be a cactus. Let's see what Hal's Dells says because there's a note. I think putting these things together is pretty clever, though. Hi, Chris, DJ, cats and kittens. Please find enclosed a Christmas cat bed for the Academy. I have sent another two in total. Love, Helen and Jasper. That's Hell's Dells on the Discord. Hell's Dells, thank you so very much. It is perfect, and uh, I, I can see that maybe it's just supposed to be a straight-up Christmas tree, but they made it so round, it looks like one of these prickly pear cactuses uh, done as like a, 
like a Christmas inspired artist had uh, had made it into a Christmas tree. So I think this is going to be an excellent crossover bed uh, for our Christmas and uh, cactus season together. I think it's very good for that. Hell's Dells, thank you so much. I'm going to, for now, toss it right back here with the other cactus. I'm going to double check that our floor camera is showing something useful because the camera I intended to use for mailbag is certainly not. All right, good enough. I think good enough. And there's always the ceiling camera to fall back on. Uh, we'll do what we can. Get myself a sip of coffee while I'm figuring out all the camera stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Okay. We got that. We got that out of the way. We got this. It goes in the pile of letters. We got, okay, we got this next. I was excited about this when I saw it in the mailbag. Um, I don't know that I've actually heard of this, but then I mentioned it already on Discord, and uh, several people there uh, are familiar with the Cat Lady Box. It says www.catladybox.com, and it appears to be one of those. Oh, this is from, I, I didn't cover up the address because I didn't know it was there. I hope I didn't just flash it at everybody. From Piff, uh, Patty Ford, who's been a, uh, I just said her last name, so we got that going for us, uh, a longtime viewer of Kitten Academy. And a uh, completely awesome person who's made a lot of art for us in the past. And this appears to not be uh, a cat lady box, but instead a box from Piff that has been recycled, which is even more exciting than what I thought it was. And it says, uh, the note, okay to read on stream. I'm trying to figure out where to put this thing. Okay, I'm going to put it right over here. Good. So you can still see the kittens and you can still kind of see me. And we got this camera back, sort of. Thank you. Uh, it says in the note, okay to read on stream, dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, Tilbury Stable, and faculty, thank you, Mr. A, for what you are doing for cats and for us who are watching. Thank you, Dr. DJ, for what you are doing for humanity. The expression, you should never meet your heroes, doesn't apply here. Kitten Academy is the best place on the internet, and Mr. A and Dr. DJ are as wonderful as they appear on screen. I had the privilege to meet them in July 2018 at KACon 2. I've been a supporter since the fonts in 2017, and it is wonderful to see fluffy cats and kittens. But more importantly, it is uplifting to have some place to go where there is true love and kindness worldwide. Thank you to all the adopters, to the supporters who send things to Kitten Academy during Mailbag. Thank you to the 2020 team who put together the virtual KACon. Uh, I had just lost my job, and it was a happy place I could go to to adjust to my new situation. I just can't thank you all enough for what you do. Stay healthy, wear a mask, sincerely, Piff. Uh, Patty, who also signs her last name here, so I don't think that's a problem. Uh, Piff, it was so cool to meet you. I will never forget it, and even more so, I will never forget the, uh, the little pop-up cards you made for everybody who went to the 2018 KA Con, which was a ton of work. Um, but what you made for people who weren't at the 2018 KA Con uh, you made little pop-up dioramas of the Kitten Academy room with little tiny uh, kitten figures so that people could, could take them and, and set up their own Kitten Academy diorama with the little kittens in the room and Mr. A and DJ and all this stuff. It was the coolest little interactive thing, and it looked exactly like KA, uh, like the main kitten room back at the old place in 2018. It was amazing. And in fact, you made, you had like a four or five spare that you gave to us. And I know there were a couple of them that we had to send out to people, which I believe we did. But there were a couple even beyond that that I still have and I'm hanging on to because they're just one of the most special things ever. Uh, it was amazing. Thank you so much for those. <clears throat> And you said, I've reused this great cat lady box. I'm not a spokesperson for them, but I am a big fan. Please share with your cat fans. It's a monthly loot box with all kinds of cat-related stuff, shirts, bags, and cat toys. Well, there you have it. <clears throat> That's what I figured it was. And then look at this. Uh, there's a picture of your license plate where you have Photoshopped over the actual numbers, which is uh, good thinking because now that we've shared your full name and address, the last thing people need is your... Uh, uh, did you put your social security number in here somewhere for everybody, I hope? Um, anyway, it's, you've got a license plate holder and sticker on your car that are KA. Uh, so cool. Kitten.academy is where kittens learn to cat. 
That is lovely. Oh, I love it. And then you got pictures of your cats, Roxy, Mr. Snuffles, Harriet, and Rusty. And you say the Sheba treat sticks are the only brand of treat Rusty will eat. Um, so, and apparently you say now Rusty doesn't like fish anymore. So you have sent to us your entire collection of fish flavored Sheba uh, treats. Look at that. That is a huge pile of treat sticks. And the treat sticks are, I think they're really good treats because they're, they're, um, the kittens love them, of course, and that's what counts. But, uh, they're a lot less messy than something like churu or baby food that you got to get all over your fingers. These things you can just sort of, you can almost just keep one in your pocket and be fine. Let's see what you think. Will you try one? I know you're busy nursing, but I'll just give that right to you and see what you think. Oh, okay. Well, you're going to have to stand up for it then. You also sent one other thing. Uh, you sent a, uh, a little, oh, this is apparently from Cat Lady Box. You sent one of the items that would have originally come in it. And it appears to be a little metal sign that says meow. It says meow wall art. How cool is that? I think it's very cool. It is very, very cool. Um, I'm not going to try to organize this stuff yet. For now, I'm just going to put it right back in the box. Piff, Piff, thank you so much for this stuff. It is wonderful. And uh, I know those treat sticks are going to go to good use. It seems like she liked it and wants some more. We'll let her finish the whole thing. Because one thing that she needs is just all the calories she can possibly get. I think she likes it. But I think if it was a, a temptation, she probably would have abandoned her kids for it. So um, it's, still, it's still a winner. And I know the faculty likes them as well. And they will go great in the endowments. And these kittens can have someone that's older than just now learning to eat. So I'm not going to try to get them to eat any of this. Oh, Clyde looks like he might have. But I'm not going to open a whole other one just for you, pal. I'm not going to do it. All right, uh, Piff, that was just fantastic. Thank you very, very much. Uh, I'll put that back there behind the camera, just a little bit behind the camera. Keep this, let's move this stuff out from in front of the camera as well. If I can, put it right there. Good. Good, good. Oh, look, that Christmas thing can go in the Christmas uh, cactus. There we go. Putting the things that go together together. I know. I hear you, Tilly. I hear you talking. Collider. Super collider. Super collider. Oh, my goodness. All right. This is a Chewy box. And uh, as I've mentioned before, if you want to ship something to us from Chewy, they don't ship to a post office box, and they don't let you put in a note. But you can get around both of those things by shipping to the street address of the post office and putting in our uh, box number 186 as a suite. Uh, so 270 Monroe Turnpike Unit 186 or Suite 186 or whatever. And you can get around the fact they don't let you put a note by putting your name in the return address. I mean, in the address. So say to Smiling Beck's Care of Kitten Academy, uh, which is exactly what this says. And I've once again lost my green knife, which probably is on somebody's bingo card as a thing. Um, and I'm sure you're all very amused. But uh, I can't see it from here, so I'm just going to have to move to the backup knife for the moment. So this is from X, uh, and it comes to us through uh, from Chewy. And inside, we have a lot of packing material for a very silly-looking Christmas cat with a catnip. It's a Kong refillable. It's got a little pocket to put catnip in. It crinkles. And uh, it is a ridiculous looking cat who looks like a Christmas tree because he's green and also has lights. He's also mixed up in the lights. It's perfect. It's perfect for Christmas. I can see you guys, like DJ, thinking ahead to the Christmas decor. Um, but like DJ, I'm going to tell you all that I'm trying to wait until after Halloween to put any of that out. So I will set that aside for the moment. We have another one here that this also says, Chewy Smiling Bex. So let's see what we got right in here. This one has a uh, love letter from Chewy that tells us the uh, contents of the bag. All right, good job, Chewy. Uh, let's see here. It is more Christmas stuff, and how cute is it? Wow, we've got three Christmas mice. 
who uh, I'm trying to show you while mom's in the way. Okay, we'll use this camera, even though it's not good up close. Uh, I especially like this one here because he's all fuzzy with little curly mousy hairs. But the other ones, this one's wearing a stocking cap, and this one is uh, decorated like red with little snowflakes. Then we have Christmas colored fuzzy balls, which is another perfect cat toy, red and green, very classic. And then I think my favorite thing in this box is Christmas toy packages. They're little packages with the bows and the wrapping paper. This one has Santa wearing sunglasses, uh, but each of the three, they're three different sized uh, gifts. So I'm sure the kids will have fun trying to unwrap those once they get them out. Those are, those are really cool. Uh, Smiling Bex, thank you so very much. Okay, I'm gonna put these all in the Christmas cactus. Morgan, where are you going? Morgan's gonna try to run over the Christmas cactus. Morgan is so bold and such a bold explorer. Uh, she's just the first one to go everywhere. Almost went out of the room the other day. If I'd let her, she would have. Uh, I can't believe that little green knife is so absent. I must have put it inside a box or something like I did with that pen the other day. Uh, okay. Well, let's keep moving. Uh, I don't know what to open next because we're getting into the awkward sized packages now. But here's another one from Smiling Bex. Okay, well, anybody want to place bets on whether it contains Christmas stuff? Well, let's find out. Uh, this backup knife doesn't, it's not quite as easy to operate. Oh, all right. It does contain Christmas stuff, and look at this. Uh, the Christmas stuff is red and green springs. I did not know that there was a Christmas cat springs toy. It looks like there's just two in there, but they're all wrapped up together. There's a whole bunch in there. It's probably about 10 springs, red and green. Then we also have a Christmas color, uh, Christmas patterned S-shaped S cat scratcher. It's not quite the S-shaped S, uh, but it is an S-shaped S, so that's awesome. It's not the S-shaped S, but an S-shaped S. Yeah, I'm going with that. Then we have a kitty kicker that is a reindeer. It's got a face that's covered up by the tag. There we go, I hope. It says it's a reindeer. It actually has reindeer horns on top. It's got a little face here. I'm trying not to take it out of the bag yet. It's wearing a scarf. It's a very cute cat kicker with catnip, it says. Very Christmassy. I have a cat climbing my back. This must be Morgan halfway up my back. How did you do that? That's super advanced explorations climbing. I don't need you up there though. Why don't you hang out right here instead? Come here. There we go. Okay, and one more thing. A holiday cat cat tracks tower toy. Uh, this looks like the holiday version of that Halloween um tracks that we already have gotten and the halloween one is really cool so i'm excited to see what is special about the christmas one let's check it out well it's bright red we got that going for us which is nice and the balls are red and green so there's definitely a theme here but there what flies around it because the other ones have this one doesn't oh it does okay so the other ones have little things that you stick in the top that fly around them and so does this one this is strange because I thought it would be a real natural choice to have Santa's sleigh be the thing that would fly around, but no. Instead, we get a Christmas stocking as option number one, a stocking cap, and a, uh, a little bow with some mistletoe hanging from it as option number two. I'm sure that those will both be lots of fun for the kittens. It's awesome. I love that they have these little things that fly around. The Halloween one that you guys are going to see first, because we're going to put that out soon, has, uh, I don't remember, I think one is a bat and the other one is a flying eyeball. I'm crazy about the flying eyeball. I can't wait to put it out. So uh, that'll be fun. And this one will be perfect for, perfect for Christmas. Good. Now we have a whole pile of Christmas stuff. I can't fit all of this into that Christmas cactus. So I guess um, a little bit of reorganization is in order. Also, I saw everybody just ran away to hide because I was making so much noise, and now I don't know where they are. Morgan's over there playing with toys next to all the boxes. No, that's Clyde. Clyde, I didn't expect that to be you back there. 
What are you playing with next to all the boxes, Clyder? Oh, he's playing with that the tunnel. Hang on, the little kitten tunnel. Clyde, you like that thing? I'm gonna bring it over here where everybody can see. Oh, oh, come here. He's playing with this. Let's see, now he's not gonna do it though, because I moved him my bed. And have better things to do. I thought Morgan was back here somewhere too, but I just I lost track of everybody once they all decided to get moving around. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, we're doing really good on time, actually. I said I was going to hurry through. We've got three boxes left, so uh, we're doing great. And I hear somebody back by the litter boxes. Maybe that's just uh, mom. She's got to be somewhere. Okay, uh, let's do this next. This one says fragile all over it and says contains glass. Do not drop. So I am going to very carefully open it. It also says in the return address, this is from Karen Sows. Uh, Karen Sows, who's been a longtime fan and correspondent. I shouldn't say fan. I hate that. I hate saying that. Um, been a, a longtime friend and correspondent. Yes. Okay. There we go. On the Discord chat, we talk to her all the time. And she is the one that made those amazing uh, kitten size surgery recovery suits that we use, which are just great. <laughs> Okay. Along with plenty of other stuff. Uh, she doesn't go by the name Karen Sows for no reason. Okay, I'm going to put this back behind me so that we can read the card, and then hopefully I can... Hi, Clyde! Hi, are you on the camera? Because what you are doing is just stupidly adorable. I cannot deal with all of this cuteness. Oh, you're perfectly on the camera. Perfectly on the camera, buddy. Good. I'm surprised that everybody else minds all the noise I'm making. And Clyde is the one who doesn't. I would have thought Clyde would have been a little more bothered. Okay. This is a cute card. It's got a picture of a kitten who appears to be coming out of a pot or a cornucopia or something. And it says, hope your day is easier and brighter knowing someone is thinking of you. Well, of course it is. Thank you very much. And you have written, hi, Mr. A and DJ. The new class of Tilly Stable are beyond adorable. I'm happy for you both that you have a healthy and happy class. Uh, Tilly just kills me how much she wants to be out in the house with the faculty. She must know her kittens are safe. Saying thank you for all you do never seems to be enough. I'm in awe of the amount of work and effort it takes just from watching the live stream. Chris, it is very evident how much you love each class that comes through the academy. It's obvious how much you want to have every kitten uh, Give have every kitten the best life while at KA. Yes, I do. Uh, which gets them and mom the best forever home. Sending lots of spools. Karen, aka Karen sews. But wait, there's more. It says, Chris, I know you are going to laugh yourself silly trying to get into the package. Let me explain. Uh, okay. Uh, it says. I have made a piece of art that I hope will enhance Tilly's stable and your Southwest theme. The art is called diamond painting, obviously not real diamonds. Each diamond is resin with many facets to make it sparkle. Well, we need to see this. Uh, it says each tiny diamond is placed by hand onto a canvas printed with the artwork and covered with an adhesive, which is then covered with a protective piece of cellophane. Wow. All right, let's see what I can do. Uh, this is very well packed. I like that. And you're, I'm not going to read your notes, but this is, I thought, now that we've described it, I think we should be showing it, right? And uh, I see that there's, this is very well packed. It's packed in all this paper. Printed paper makes a lot of noise. And then inside this cardboard that says Fragile, and it says has glass, which I hope didn't break. Sorry for the crazy wrapping job. I had to root Goldberg with what I had available at home. Have fun getting the box open, Karen. Well, Karen, I feel up to that particular task. Oh, okay, maybe not. If I had my green knife, it would go just a tiny bit easier. Kittens, I know one of you probably stole it trying to cut your way out of the back of that cactus bed that you're in right now where nobody can see on the camera. It's a real Shawshank Redemption there. Um, all right, let's see. 
uh, I'm trying to read the rest of your note while I'm trying to figure this out. The rest of your note says, as for the crazy packaging, the piece is framed with a glass front. I'm so worried the glass or frame will break. I went a little overboard. I hope you enjoy your challenge. Much love to all. Karen. All right, a.k.a. Karen So. All right. Wow. Oh, you did go overboard because that was just the first layer of madness. Now we're into layer two. And I don't want to, like, I'm, with my luck, I'm going to, you know, be trying to force this thing open and break the glass uh, after it made it all the way here. So i got to be extra careful. Extra, extra careful. I think it feels like it's probably intact, though. I think we're good. Let's just see what you did here. Diamond, did you say diamond painting? Diamond Diamond painting, yes. Okay, I like it. I like it already. Let's see if we can get to it. Yep. Okay. Hang on. Oh, hey, that's cool. It looks like um, they, they, so I expected like, I expected like a sequin or, or a, what do you call the rhinestones or, you know, like a, that sort of thing. But they aren't like that at all. They're like little tiny stones. Um, and, oh, they do sparkle, though. If you turn them the right way, they definitely have some sparkle, but not as much as I expected. Instead, they've got really bold colors, and it looks to me like uh, like pixel art. Like it's beautiful, like pixel art. It's it's. It's really cool, and it is uh, cactuses done in some really awesome colors. Let me see. Oh, I think you can see that pretty well. There's not too much glare. There's a little bit of glare, a little bit of reflection from the glass, but look at that. I think you can get a real good idea of what it looks like, and so can Clyde. Clyde's like, oh, what is it? Clyde, you are so into this today. I did not think that was you that was going to be the one that would be all out here hanging out with me. I would have guessed Morgan. Oh. Oh, what was that? Did you see that? Clyde, what was that? You want to play with it, don't you? Do you see the little sparkles? Is that what it is? Let me check that other camera angle real quick. I want to see if I can tell. Okay, let's move it over just a little bit there. I think you can see most of it on this camera now. Let's try to... You can't tell how it sparkles. It does have sparkles, but like I said, not. it doesn't sparkle the way I was picturing in my head when you described it. It's more, it's more like little stones that... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I said that already. I'm just repeating myself at this point. It's awesome. Karen, it's so cool. It's very pixel art, too, if you look at it up close. I, you know, let me see if I can show you up close on the up-close camera. Let's take a little bit of it. So now you can see the sparkles on that camera, but I'm doing a bad job of, of actually getting it on the camera. I guess that's good enough. You guys get the idea. It's beautiful. It's perfect. It's thank you so much much karen sews i love it and it did it made it all the way here perfectly intact so now i have to just make sure to not break it uh myself so uh i'm just gonna just gonna slide it out of the way for the moment carefully and then make sure it's one of the first things i pick up when we're done here so i'm just gonna set it right there for now uh karen that is really beautiful thank you so much and thank you for everything that you've done for us uh, over the time that, that you've been hanging out with us. I just, I really appreciate it all. Um, where's Tilly? I know she's in this room and I haven't seen her in several minutes now. Oh, she's by the front door. Okay, by the door. Good, good. Okay. Two more boxes. Again, we're down to the awkward ones. Hi, Morgan, hanging out here. Let me move this out. Let me see if I can see that a little better. Good. Uh, and I'm just going to try to get all this stuff into Karen's uh, box. This is a nice large box to put all of our recycling materials into. Get that out of the way a little bit. And then this one, whatever this is, we're going to open this next. I'm just going to open it right over here off to the side. Here's to be an Amazon drop shipment, so nothing on the outside to give anything away here. Now the inside. 
there's not a note yet. There's, it's missing the note. Sometimes, sometimes Amazon, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think this is it. Hang on, this must be it. Yes, the note. Donating something in memory of Acro. We love this carrier. Hope you do too. Please either keep it or give as an endowment. We watch you every day and thank you for so much for the joy from Robin and Mom. Robin and Mom, thank you so much. Uh, thank you very, very much. So all it says on the outside is cat carrier and bed. So I'm going to have to open it up to see uh, what that means exactly, because that, that covers a lot of ground, uh, especially that it's trying to be both things. So let's see here. Let's go oh, see here. Oop. Okay. All right. Oh. Oh, I recognize this. One of the adopters that came by. I can't remember who now. I think it was uh, Foghorn's adopter. Yes, Foggy's adopter has the same carrier, I think. And that's probably not even the only one I've seen. I feel like I've seen this a couple times, but I I like it. I haven't I haven't tried one ourselves. Um, so Karen, no Robin, Robin, Robin. I'm sorry, Robin and Mom. Uh, Robin and Mom. Here we go. This is a it's a triangular shaped hard plastic pop up. Um, cat carrier with a big door that opens on the side um, and it seems like it's probably really nice and easy to use uh, like I said when Foggy's adopter came to pick up Foggy I thought it was very cool and I like uh, I like hard plastic carriers I always suggest hard plastic carriers because cats make messes in their carriers all the time and if you have a hard plastic one it's much easier to clean up you can just, in fact, we've got like a shower uh, with a with a wand on it, and I just I put it in the shower with the wand. I just spray it down like a like a car to car wash inside and out. Uh, that's how you do your car to car wash, right? You just take the spray and you do it inside and out. Yeah. Um, so that's how I do this. And uh, the other thing I like about a hard carrier is a lot of the soft ones, even the ones that are really nice made, kind of collapse in on the cat from certain angles, or when you try to put it in the car seat or whatever you do with it. They're not always as sturdy as they ought to be, uh, so that's I, I really like the hard ones because you know that there's that space uh, for them all the time. So this is a cool one. Like I said, I've seen it before. It pops right up, which is the coolest thing about it because we've got those ones that we tend to use that are hard plastic that they don't collapse. In fact, it takes a long uh, a lot of the, the, the screws. It's got all these screws that you have to screw in, and if you ever wanted to take it apart, you'd have to unscrew, and it just it's a lot. You can't. It's not realistic to think about collapsing it down. But this one collapses right down to this size uh, very easily, and then pops right back up again, which is the coolest thing about it. Uh, so I really like this. Um, thank you so much. I, I just, I don't know what else to say. Robin, this is awesome. Robin and Mom. Uh, thank you, thank you very, very much. I'm looking forward to giving this a try and seeing what the cats think of it. It also, it looks like it comes with a nice soft mat in it too, which is nice. Although we, you know, we fill them up with blankets and stuff. Uh, still, very, very cool. That's not even going to go back in the box. It's going to go out with the cat carriers so we can put it into rotation and see what we think. We'll give it a try. Oops. Oh, I, need to, I need to put all this stuff over. One more box. The last one from Karen H. Oh, this is a very heavy box, which can only mean one thing. It must contain some sort of food supply from Karen H. Uh, this is another Chewy drop shipment. And it says, no, it doesn't say anything. It just opens to reveal... Fancy Feast and RC Mom and Baby Cat. Awesome stuff. Oh, thank you so much. So you sent the Fancy Feast Classic Pate, um, and what you have sent are the Seafood Classic Pate. And now, as you know, uh, our vet recommends the Fancy Feast Classic Pate, and we checked it out. We did our research and found out that recommendation actually is a very good one because the Fancy Feast is one of those foods that's very widely available, not very expensive, 
and is uh, low carb, no grain. Uh, surprisingly, they don't advertise that very much, but it is the fact. So uh, it is uh, in some ways better than a lot of the foods that you would think of as having a much uh, better name to them. So this is what we feed our kittens. We normally feed the chicken here, but I did check, I think the seafood, if I remember right when I was checking, it actually has even a little bit more protein than the chicken version. And I think this will be really good for us to keep around when we've got a kitten that's like, oh, I don't want to eat chicken. Uh, we can throw some of this at them and see what they think of it instead. It will work out great. Plus, you sent a bag of the dry RC mom and baby cat. Now, we've been trying to avoid giving the kittens any dry food at all lately, even this one. Um, but if you remember, especially with Bebop uh, for a while, we were giving her this very dry food uh, because it's something that she would eat and we needed her to put on weight. She needed the extra calories. And if her kittens hadn't started on the wet food, this is exactly the dry food we would have started them on. So it's good for us to have some in reserve in case we need it, even though it's not something that we're using uh, as a regular part of our, our, our procedure now. In fact, uh, I might think about breaking some of this out for her because she has just lost weight like crazy because she's nursing five super fat, super hungry babies. Uh, on the other hand, she's only got about a week of that left, I'm thinking, before they're really on the solid food. So I was, I was hoping she could make it through there, and I think she will. We're just giving her more and more food. We're actually giving her now, and this is another thing that we wouldn't normally do, we're giving her the wet version of the mother and baby cat. That's uh, half, that's two-thirds of what's in her, her bowl right now. Um, and uh, that's another thing that we wouldn't normally do, but I, again, I want her to have all the calories, plus there's a couple of her kittens that are learning to eat much easier with the mom and baby cat than they were with the fancy feast. So we'll go with it for a while and then we'll, uh, we'll get them switched over in the long term. I can't believe uh, we made it through all that. Uh, Karen, Karen H., thank you so very much for the food store. It's a very practical thing to send that we can always use more of. One way or the other, uh, definitely can always use more. You know it's going to get used, so it's great. Uh, all the other stuff's going to get used too, even if it gets used to be put in endowments. So thank you to everybody who sent everything. It's wonderful. And as usual, I am going to try to find a way to get all this stuff out of the room. And then after that, I will wrap up the mailbag by saying thank you one more time and ending the archive. And then I will hit the road to go pick up that metronidazole for Smuggy. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully somewhere in the course of that, my little green knife will turn up. Um, and, uh, and that's that. Okay. Hi, do you want one of these? You got up the minute you heard that crinkly bag. I think you learned what that means. Will you eat these out of my hand? You're going to make me put them on the floor. Oh, you'll taste take them however you can get them because you really like that. She loves, she loves all treats. I haven't found a treat yet that she won't eat, but uh, the dreamies or temptations seem, see, they seem like a favorite. Not a big surprise. Uh, I think a lot of cats, they're the favorite. He's right over here. I am going to, what else have I got in my pockets? I've got some trash there that I can go in here maybe. All right. Got all these cardboard boxes to take out. Let's figure this out. It's nice to know I don't have to watch this door like a hawk because if the faculty is hanging around or she goes out, it's fine. It's so fine. I can't believe how great she is. Tilly, whoa. I think Tilly went mom cat of the year even though Bebop had so much more work to do. You still, you got my vote, Tilly. That's what I'm saying. You got my vote. the Christmas stuff there. Okay. I can try to put this in with it for now. Perfect. 
Maggie, you really shouldn't be in here, though. You know she's fine with it. I'm not. I don't want her to suddenly come in and find kittens hissing at you and start the first fight of her entire life. And it would be your fault. I don't want that. So I'll send you right back out. Ari looks like he's got next. They all want to come in and take a look around since they can. I don't want to encourage that. So, take this out. Oh, I think I can, well, one thing at a time. Are so good. My phone, the foods, take these out next. Here.
right, kid. It's not funny anymore. You stole a little green knife. All right, everybody. Uh, let's put that camera back around so it looks in the box again. If you're wondering, I found a little green knife thanks to, I think, a GA girl who pinged me on the Discord chat to say I should check in the, the box with the treats. Was it GA girl? Uh, I guess it was a few people, actually. I got that message from multiple people. Um, it was in the box with the treats. Apparently, I set them all down on the floor, and then when I picked them up, the knife went with. That makes too much sense exactly where it was. I see three kittens in there. I'm pretty sure the others are in there too, but let's just double check that they didn't get taken out with those boxes or something. Okay, hang on, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, that is every. No, don't get up and come out. No, you guys stay in. I'm not waking you up. I'm, I'm actually leaving. Okay, I'm actually going. I'm going. Oh, boy. Kittens. Am I right? Uh. All right, so thank you guys all one more time. I really appreciate everything for the mailbag. It was wonderful. It's always wonderful. You're always wonderful. The kittens are always wonderful. And we will see you for a mailbag next week. And until then.
you want to keep watching the regular Kitten Academy live stream, you should do that if you're watching it right now. Thank you. And if you're watching this mailbag on the archive, then uh, take a look at the regular Kitten Academy live stream and see what the kittens are doing right now. And then come back here and let me know. You really do look like Salvador Dolly because the way your little whiskers turn up, they turn straight up. Like that's the exact opposite of little Bessie who's turned down. You just go right up like his crazy mustache. It's so funny. And you've got those big wide eyes like he used to do for the pictures. Oh, such a little Dolly kitten. I love it. Okay, uh, that's it. We're going to end the archive.